this is Holly Locker from JDS Industries. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sublimate a ceramic tile and also how to make a tile mural with our easy tile mural frames. First things you're going to need to use is we're going to use our transfer that we printed on a Rico with sawgrass inks. We also have our ceramic tile and we have our tile mural frame. We have some heat tape and we also have our adhesive that we're going to use to adhere our tiles to our tile mural frame. First step, we're going to tape our tile down onto the paper. We have a little bit of a bleed around there. I'm just going to use two pieces of heat tape. You can see we have a little ble bit of bleed. We need a little bleed so that once it goes in and is cushioned in the press, it will come up around the edge of the tile. So we're going to sublimate this tile at 400 degrees at, for 3 minutes and 45 seconds. First we're going to layer our press with a no mix pad. Then we have our scratch sheet of paper and then we have the transfer with the tile sitting down on the transfer. The face of the tile is on the transfer. The transfer is facing up. Okay, so after we press that at 400 for 3 minutes and 45 seconds with light pressure, I'm going to take it out. Just be careful because it will be very hot. You can kind of tear the paper in half to take it out here. You can see we got a really nice glossy tile. Once that cools, I'll show you how to put it in the tile mural frame. So the next step in assembling the tile mural frames, you're going to need an adhesive that will work on wood and ceramic. We have one here that's called Beat the Nails. We also have another one that works as liquid nails, regular strength. When you apply it to the tile, you're going to just apply it in a circle, keeping away from about an inch from the edge of the tile so that nothing seeps through the tiles once you're assembling them in the frame. These frames have been made to fit the thickness of our tiles. Um, some other vendor tiles you have to check if they will fit within the channel. But you can see that once you um, get your tiles in there, you're able to move them around so that you can adjust the tiles together correctly and line up the photos. You'll want to start by putting the tile in the corners and then in the sides. When then you'll be placing the last tile in the center. That way you can still are able to angle it underneath all of the corner edges. Once you have all of your tiles assembled in the frame, you'll want to let it dry and cure flat for 24 hours. We have these frames available in seven different sizes, either for a quarter and quarter inch by four and a quarter inch tile or a six by six inch tile. They have a, all come in a black finish. They also come with the hanging hardware um, already that you can assemble easily, but make sure you assemble the hanging hardware before you put the ceramic tiles in the front. Thanks for watching. This is Holly Locker from JDS Industries. If you need more information on how to create a tile mural in Corel Draw or Photoshop, please search our JDS Industries YouTube channel. For information on all of our sublimation products, you can visit our website at jdsindustries.com forward slash sublimation. Thank you.